Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have another example of how to, how to factor the form ax squared plus bx plus c. What's different between this one and the previous two examples is that all the coefficients are positive, which does change things a little bit of how we deal with it. So again, the idea is that we're going to rewrite this as a, a sum of four terms, a polynomial of four terms, where the first term is 6x squared, the last term is 35, and the middle term will now be split up into two middle terms. Now, of course, we know that everything is going to be positive, and we're looking for the two coefficients here, which will add up to 29. What are those two numbers? Well, to find those two numbers, we know that the product must equal the product of these two numbers, which is 6 times 35. 6 times 35, that's equal to 210, and the sum must equal 29. So what are those two numbers? Well, first of all, they're both going to be positive. So what we could do is we could say that, well, 28 and 1, when we add them together, we get 29, but when you multiply them, you get 28, which is by no, no means 210. We can then go to 27 and 2, when we multiply, we get 54, and you can see the pattern. But of course, if we keep doing that one number at a time, it's going to take a while before we get to 10. So maybe we'll jump ahead and let's try 19 and 10. Well, 19 and 10 multiplied together, that gives us 190, which means we're getting pretty close. But it could also mean that we already got past the correct number. Now the numbers get smaller again as we continue this process. So if that's the case, we need to go back to maybe 18 and 11 and so forth. But let's continue and see what we get. How about the number uh, 18 and 9? When I add those two together, well, that doesn't work. Uh, 18 and 11, I need to move up one on this one. So 18 and 11, that's uh, 198. Well, it looks like I'm still going the right direction, so I still haven't passed the right combination. How about the next number, which is 17 and 12? That would be 170, that would be 204. Well, we're getting really close. Maybe the next one is the right one. How about 16 and 13? Well, I know that can be the right one because when I multiply 3 times 6, it doesn't end up in a 0, so that's not the right number. How about 15 and 14? Because when I multiply 4 and 5, I get 20, which ends in a 0, so that is probably the right one. Let's see here. That 140 and 70, yes indeed, 210. So I found the right combination which means that this here can be written as 15x and 14x. So I've written the middle term as the sum of two middle terms, and the numerical coefficients was found by using this technique. Now, I group the first two and the last two terms together and factor out what's common. Here, I can factor out a 3x, and I'm left with 2x plus 5. And here, I can factor out a 7. Oop, I should put a plus there, a 7. And uh, that leaves us with uh, plus 7 times 2x plus 5. And then notice here and here, the common factor is 2x plus 5. I can factor that out. And that means I can write this as 2x plus 5. And what I have remaining is 3x plus 7. And that is the factored form of our original problem. Again, it all comes down to rewriting the trinomial into a polynomial four terms. The middle term will be split up in the sum of two middle terms to find the numerical coefficient. The product is equal to the product of these two numbers, and the sum is equal to this number. And then we systematically find the correct combination, whose sum is 29, and whose product is 210. And that is how it's done.